Hello to everyone who loves Westminster Choir College. This is Lois Laverty speaking to you from Stonebridge at Montgomery, a retirement community just a few miles north of Princeton. My lifelong connection with Westminster started when I was just 11 years old, the year my older brother, John Laverty, was recruited to enroll at the school. He graduated in 1945 and returned for his master's degree in 1949. I was a student then, graduated in, in 1951. I returned for my master's in 1955, the year our younger sister Martha began her degree. That makes five Westminster degrees among the three of us Lafferty's. And then, you know, I returned to campus later on to serve on the voice faculty for 31 years. Westminster was certainly the most important influence in making a real musician out of me. Five years in Westminster Choir under Dr. Williamson dozens of unforgettable symphonic choir performances in Carnegie Hall, spellbound by the wonders of the Misa Solemnis and the Symphony of a Thousand. Challenges to growth in musicianship by such professors as Julius Herford and Warren Martin. Inspirational chapel services with Alexander McCurdy and Dr. Charles Erdman, whose grandson is a fellow resident here where I live. Now the future of our beloved school is clouded with uncertainty and we should be grateful to the Westminster Foundation who are doing all they can to help. Let us do all we can to preserve what is precious and unique about that little music school in New Jersey whose middle name is Choir. Thank you and love to you all. We are speaking for the Kemp family, far and near. Our collective Westminster experience begins at the inception of the college in Princeton, New Jersey, when its founder, John Finley Williamson introduced two young students who seemed to have a spark for each other. Helen Hubbard and John Kemp were married in Bristol Chapel at 7 a.m., just hours before their graduation from Westminster and before going on to their life's work, which was based on all they had learned and experienced at Westminster Choir College. If it had not been for Westminster, and Dr. Williamson's role as match matchmaker, our very existence wouldn't be. John and Helen Kemp served two full tenures at Westminster, the first in their early years and the second in their later years, bringing the fullness of their extraordinary careers as church musicians and choir clinicians to their teaching and administrating. Three generations of our family have attended Westminster. Julie and Guy were on the voice faculty in Princeton for many years. Their daughter Katya graduated in 1995, and Michael has been a clinician on campus many times. Our three generations stood on the shoulders of the giants before us. John Finley Williamson, Lorraine Hodak, Alexander McCurdy, George Lynn, Matilde McKinney, Warren Martin, Elaine Brown, and Joe Flummerfelt, to name only a few. And we sang with the conducting giants of the greater musical world, Arturo Toscanini, Bruno Walter, Leopold Stokowski, Herbert von Karajan, Hermann Scherken, Eugene Ormandy, Ricardo Muti, Leonard Bernstein, Pierre Boulez, and Zubin Mehta. We had the opportunity to experience the power and beauty of repertoire that changed our lives in the making of it. What we all learned and experienced at Westminster set an expectation of excellence in all things, whether teaching, singing, playing, or conducting. And the firm belief that music is a source of 
beauty, faith, and strength. It can bring great joy, purpose, and understanding to our life. And our job is to share that experience with others. As mom said at a convocation a few years back, unlike Vegas, what happens at Westminster does not stay at Westminster, nor should it. Its mission, and it has a mission, is to continue to add the much needed life-giving beauty and power of music to the world. We hope that we may once again hear glorious music coming from the studios, the practice rooms, the rehearsal halls, and Bristol Chapel at Princeton's own Westminster Choir College, and that the Westminster experience will continue to live in concert halls, classrooms, recital halls, churches, and homes around the country and the world. That is the mission of our and the Westminster experience. There is no substitute for either. Thank you for supporting the Westminster Foundation. We are so grateful to this organization for its tireless and important work and encourage those who have been rewarded by their own Westminster experience to join us and so many others in keeping the Foundation's efforts alive and thriving. Thank you, Westminster Foundation, for all that you have done. The Kemp family loves Westminster Choir College. It led me to 54 years of conduct, and it means so much to us. We're there for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for all you have done. Und die schönste Grüße aus Tecklenburg, Deutschland. Thank you so much. To the Foundation, thank you very much. To those who are supporting the Foundation, thank you very much. Hello, and welcome to the Westminster Foundation's first virtual thank you concert. My name is Thomas Farrako, a proud alumnus of Westminster Choir College and honored to have worked with the many talented students and faculty colleagues during my 36 year tenure in the voice department. This concert featuring alumni performers from various years is our way of thanking you for your generous support over the past several years. This support has enabled us to continue our legal battle to save the Westminster campus and its legacy of excellence in training musical leaders, a battle which is far from over. While COVID-19 prevented Westminster from holding its commencement ceremony and alumni reunion activities last May, we hope that hearing the Warren Martin processional at the beginning of this video as well as hearing and seeing the alumni performers and guest speakers on this program will make up for that loss. And now it's time for music. Please join me in welcoming soprano Amani Cole Felder, a recent graduate and a current member of the Lindemann Young Artist Development Program at the Metropolitan Opera.
My name is Kira Duffy and I am a proud alumna of Westminster Choir College, having earned degrees in voice performance and pedagogy in 2001 and 2003. As a professional soloist, I've had the great good fortune of having performed alongside many of our industry's most distinguished musicians. And while those experiences have been wonderful, nothing has shaped my artistic identity more than my time at Westminster. In my mind, Westminster stands alone among its peer institutions in its commitment to the ideal that music is, at its core, a vehicle for profound human connection. And I think now, amidst this most troubling period of all of our lifetimes, I think we can all agree that never before have we felt so acutely the necessity of this philosophy. I want to thank the Westminster Foundation and its fearless leader, Constance Fee, in their, for their Herculean efforts in fighting to keep Westminster in its home of Princeton, New Jersey. We all know that the Westminster campus is not just a collection of buildings. Rather, it is a community whose structures really pulse with the life blood and breath of generations of young musicians. It is an inimitable community. It is an inimitable campus and it is critical that we continue to invest in organizations like the Westminster Foundation that are fighting for the profound legacy of Westminster Choir College. Thanks.
Greetings from my home in Sarasota, Florida. My name is Tom Perviens, and I graduated from Westminster Park College in 1974. After graduate school, I had the pleasure of working as a Westminster Conservatory faculty member, as director of the Office of Concerts and Special Events, and later as director of alumni and development. My history with Westminster spans more than 50 years. I am the musician and person that I am today because of my Westminster experience. It has defined my life in almost every way, and the people I call my lifetime friends are all from Westminster. These are difficult times for those of us who feel strongly about the value of a Westminster experience. The only thing standing between Ryder University and the end of that experience is the Westminster Foundation in Princeton. If not for their lawsuits, our campus would already be gone. The effort continues, and we need everyone who cares for Westminster and its legacy to support us and keep the legal process moving forward. It is long, slow, frustrating, complicated, and expensive, but it is the only possibility to save our Princeton campus. Join me in supporting the Westminster Foundation in Princeton. Thank you. I would like to play for you a transcription of one of Rachmaninoff's most popular songs, Floods of Spring. The piano transcription was made by legendary American pianist Earl Wilde, with whom I had the privilege to study some of Rachmaninoff's music shortly before his death in 2010. I hope you enjoy it.
Greetings, my name is Christopher Hoekstel and I'm a proud alumnus of the Westminster Choir College. I received my Bachelor of Music in Voice Performance and my Master of Music in Voice Performance and Pedagogy from the Westminster Choir College in 2017. Since graduating, I've gone on to sing as an apprentice artist with various American opera companies, as well as sing as a tenor soloist with various private music organizations, ensembles, and orchestras. I also recently gave my principal debut in Germany, singing the role of pilot in Stadttheater Gießen's new opera, Glaube Liebe Abschied. I'm also scheduled to sing my first full Tamino with Opera Wilmington in North Carolina, once it is safe to do so after the pandemic. I am the musician and performer I am today, thanks to the incredible faculty and conservatory environment at Westminster. I would like to thank the Westminster Foundation and its efforts to save our historic Princeton campus, and I would ask you all to please help support the Westminster Foundation to continue its mission. Thank you.
bubbles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops that away Hello friends, I am Laura Brooks Rice, retired professor emeritus from Westminster Choir College, where I taught from 1985 until 2019. While at Westminster, I taught voice, coordinated the opera program, taught courses in opera called the Singing After Opera, and opera audition preparation and techniques. My special connection to Westminster comes from my teacher, Margaret Harshaw, who was an invited guest every summer for Master Teachers of Singing. She would come there and teach, and then she would teach me and encouraged me to teach. So when Westminster asked her who might be available to teach as an adjunct, she recommended me. And that began my journey at Westminster. Another special place that Westminster holds is my meeting Joseph Flummerfeld. I mentioned in his memorial, and I mentioned to him that he is probably the most important person in my musical life. More than any of my training at university or opera houses, understanding the depth of music making was what I learned from Westminster and from Joe. My concern for the future of Westminster is that the place where we called home might be sold, might be destroyed, and that conclave of buildings and atmosphere is so conducive to the type of musician that comes out of Westminster. I support the work that the foundation is doing, and I want to thank all of those involved, most especially Constance Fee, for her stalwart work and belief. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Glenn Miller, class of 1977. Thank you for this opportunity for me to speak and to sing for you today. We all remember the very first time Westminster Choir College came into our lives. For many of us, it was because of a teacher we had growing up who was a Westminster graduate. Mine was my high school organ teacher, a Westminster grad from the class of 1968. He took me under his wing and opened my ears to sounds through doors far beyond my wildest dreams. In the spring of 1973, he took me to commencement. I will never forget it. Never had I heard anything like it. The singing of the opening hymn totally overwhelmed me, with the choirs and massive congregation raising the roof of the university chapel and bringing heaven to earth. I felt so small, my puppy bass voice trying to join in the best that I could, albeit ever so feebly. Part of me couldn't wait for the fall when I would come and begin my studies, though the self-doubting part of me wondered how it would ever be possible that I could become a part of this family. Fall came, and one of the very first things we incoming students did as part of our orientation was to gather in Bristol Chapel for a service to mark the beginning of orientation and to underscore in us why exactly we were there. Again, the sound of heaven in all its glory revealed itself, raising the roof and flooding our souls as our quivering voices united in the opening hymn. 
As we sang, we somehow connected subconsciously with the sounds and prayers from across the decades that were embedded in and radiated from the walls of Bristol Chapel. We knew we were on holy ground and were standing on the shoulders of giants, great and small, who gathered in that space and walked the quadrangle before they were sent out into the world to be the shoulders for future generations. And so the foundations of the careers for each and every one of us was laid, from that of our forebears and from the very bricks and walls that are imbued with the sounds and prayers that were lifted up and contained within them and gave voice to the legacies and mission we have all inherited and have been entrusted. Whom shall we send and who will go for us? Here am I, Lord, send me. from New Brunswick, New Jersey. My name is Amani Cole Felder. I graduated from Westminster Choir College in 2017. When I reflect on my time at Westminster Choir College, I think of the community that nurtured me as a young vocalist. The community that would sing the Lutkin benediction for anyone that was in need of comfort. The community that ingrained the importance of musicianship, integrity, and singing from the heart. While studying with Miss Sharon Sweet, I learned what my voice was truly capable of. She saw the potential bubbling in me from our very first lesson and made sure my technical foundation was solidified before I graduated. She always assured me that with confidence and perseverance, I could build a career. Thank you, Ms. Sweet, for your dedication and passion that has inspired me and many young singers. I am proud to be a part of the Westminster legacy, and I thank those who have contributed to the Westminster Foundation in the fight to preserve that legacy. Your continued work, efforts, and donations will help the Foundation during this ongoing process. Please join me in supporting the Westminster Foundation. Thank you. Oh, my God. 
Thank you so much for joining us for tonight's program. I'm Constance Fee. I'm president of the Westminster Foundation and a second generation graduate of Westminster Choir College. Tonight's virtual concert is our way of saying thank you to the many alumni and friends who support the foundation. And we are especially grateful to those who contributed their talents and their heartfelt reflections and made this concert possible. It is our hope that tonight's offerings will highlight the profound impact Westminster alumni have on the world around them and how their musical experiences inspire future generations of alumni to come. On behalf of the trustees of the Westminster Foundation, I want to express our sincere gratitude to you for your generous support of this important effort to save this beloved institution. Thank you. My name is Eric Plutz, and I'm the university organist at Princeton University. I've also just recently resigned from Westminster after serving as the accompanist for the symphonic choir for 15 years. In addition, I am a proud alumnus who graduated Westminster in 1989 with my bachelor's degree in organ performance as a student of Dr. Donald McDonald. It is he who most influenced me as a student, and I call upon his words of wisdom daily. It was a great honor to use my piano study, choral study, organ study, and general musicianship in my position as symphonic choir accompanist to further the mission of Westminster Choir College, namely to assist in some very small way with the nurturing and education of the students. The Westminster Foundation is striving to continue that mission, and as a member, I fully support that effort. I would like to thank, from the bottom of my heart, all who have supported our cause. That cause is worthy. Westminster is worthy. <laughs> 